Comment ça va? That means how you doing. Me, I'm Tinu, and welcome to Craftastrophe. Today, we're gonna build a rickety spaceship, an astro cat named Michael, and a human called Aaron. We're gonna do a whole lot of sculpting, convert some plastic trash into spaceship treasure, do a little woodworking, some laser cutting, make a tiny watercolor, and do a whole lot of painting. We might even see a UFO if we're lucky. If this sounds good to you, then let's get our craft on. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is sketch out a few ideas so that I can figure out the design style that I wanna sculpt these figures in. Maybe it would help if we actually knew what you were doing. Hey, that's not a bad idea, Daddy. I recently went undercover on a top secret mission oh boy. to build something really fun for another YouTube channel called Aaron's Animals. And I had such a good time that I decided to sculpt him and his cat. Congratulations, you're drawing at a first grade level now. Mm, yeah. Plan B. Okay, I went directly to some cosplay and started roughing out some cat heads and seeing if I could find a style that I like and I think that I'm gonna go with this guy. He's got a nice cartoonish look. Are you gonna show us how you sculpted the cat head or what? Yep. I'm using a little bit of cosplay. Eye holes. And his muzzle's gonna be a cone-like shape. Bacon bond to help it stick. Now it's starting to look kind of like a face. You know what it looks like? It looks like the Monopoly Man. Yeah, but it's not. So let's make a chin for this guy. And now it looks like Colonel Sanders. Uh, I'm making a cat. Making a cat is your intention. But the harsh reality is Colonel Sanders. Hmm. Eyeballs. A little bit of bacon bun. Boop, boop. Cosplay can get kind of sticky, so it's good sometimes to use some cornstarch on your tools. Do you know you better not be using up all my cornstarch? Remind me what you use cornstarch for again, Daddy? Uh, next question, please. <laughs> Let's add some fur. All right, let's put them in the oven. I'm blending the edges of the clay together so that the bond is really strong. And this is just a little neck pillow to hold his head up while I work. Those things always remind me of a butt donut for the elderly. Uh, that's not really necessary, Daddy. Tell that to the elderly. Alright, this block of clay is gonna be a caricature of Aaron's head. Boy, it really looks like you're just flying blind here. Well, that's not true at all. I did a ton of research for this project. Research. Okay, when I was at the convenience store, I saw this magazine. Uh, I also saw this magazine, but focus. I saw this magazine, and I, I'll be honest with y'all, I bought this one. I'm sorry, aliens are just fun. I got this spaceship thing, and I mean, how could you not be convinced? But no big deal, I found a picture of Michael and Aaron on the internet, so research done. Boy, the YouTube Quality Control Commission's gonna have a field day with you, huh? That is a non-existent entity. You'd be surprised. No. Wired to the back of the ears for structural support. I mix together some epoxy sculpt to make posable armatures for my figures. Let's braid some wire. I added a link in the video description to a tutorial on how to braid a wire. Golden Star! Now the cool thing about epoxy sculpt is that you can just push this wire in and it's going nowhere. Kinda like your YouTube career. Ouch. Let's speed up the drying time in my low temperature, but cool, evil bake oven. <laughs> ah. 
no, the actual oven is not evil. Yep, 100% evil free. It's just the way to keep the evil fumes out of your home oven. Why are you reinforcing the wire? Well, I didn't really add enough to start with. Don't so. Bones, toothpicks, super glue, baking soda. Daddy, read from the script. Right, right, hold on. Uh, these pins, uh, these pins stick out from the bottom of the figures, uh, into the base to hold it steady. Nailed it. Tink, tink. Things are getting pretty fancy over here. A double braided a wire to use as a fuse for this giant firecracker? I'll glue it in later. Base! How low can you go? That was annoying. I used wood glue and some clamps to bond together two pieces of scrap wood. These were left over from an older project that I did. Oh, I remember that one from the frisbee thing, right? That's right. Measure once, cut twice. That's the Tinui. I'm gonna ignore these obvious attempts to try to get under my skin. Good luck. Nice god. This is not a nice bod. People in glass houses. Well, what's that supposed to mean? N never mind. I used epoxy sculpt to lock in the pose, and now I'm layering on cos clay to build out the body of the figure. I personally think that the sculptor's guild is gonna revoke your card after this video. Hmm, hopefully not. I did a lot of sanding and filing on this figure to try to get a relatively smooth finish. Now I'm just bulking out his pants. It looks like he's going to a Pearl Jam concert. Hmm, not anymore. See, he's got long pants on. And don't forget your finger is one of the best sculpting tools available. Also comes in very handy in traffic. Daddy! What? Works better than a turn signal. contacted me about the super secret special project, he pointed out that he liked the way my rocket ship looked. However, that didn't really fit in with the project that we were doing. So I'm going to use this bottle of mood and stress reliever, which I really need around here, to build a new ship. I feel like you insinuating that living with me is stressful. Look, the top's going to make a perfect little hatch. I'm not insinuating anything, Daddy. L living with you is challenging. And that's just the fact. Tinu, I'm trying to strengthen your mind and your body for combat. So far, the results are disappointing. Look everyone, the little hatch opens and closes. Extremely disappointing. Sand it to the beat. What on earth is this thing? This is going to be a landing strut for my spaceship. I created an image in Photoshop and then I import that into Lightburn, which is the software that talks to my laser cutter. And it makes these guys. Isn't that cool? You're never gonna get that ketchup bottle to look like a spaceship. We'll see. Now I'm adding some texture and some grain to this balsa wood. Now I'm gluing it on with Eileen's tacky glue, which is a PVA glue. But super glue also works for some difficult areas. And lastly, to make this thing strong, I'm painting on Elmer's glue all to every contact point. Wait, you sprayed on the prime and now you're scraping it off? Yeah, I'm enhancing the wood detail, but keeping the shadows deep. Now, I experimented with using a bunch of different colors on the wood of the spaceship, but I ended up not liking it in the end and changing it to look like this. Space. Michael can't go to space without an Astro Cat uniform. So I created his boots, his gloves, the rest of his suit, and um, other important things. 
All right, I'm laying on a base coat of black, and then when that's dry, we dry brush, and I use titanium white for this. I love using these Vahelio paints and then doing thin washes and just building up the color in layers. This technique really appeals to my sensibilities. So what I'm doing here is deepening the shadows between the hairs and then wiping it off like that allows the highlights to shine through. quick little watercolor and this is going to go up into the spaceship and be glued in there. That way when the hatch is open you can see the interior of the cockpit. explosives. Yeah, you've caused enough of them. Some of my favorite family memories. The scary part is that none of them were intentional. Hey, look, you stencil on a fish. I like that. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is called a conversational pivot. Yeah, I'm just adding a little detail back to the image. Now, as I wrap up the final details on this project, I just want to say how much fun I had. I've never tried a caricature before of someone, so this was new ground and I enjoyed every minute of it. Also, if you enjoy this channel and you're interested in helping to support it, then come on over to Patreon where even for a small amount you can join up and we have a brand new Discord server where you can show people your work, see other people's work, talk to all these cool Patreons or myself, and also help give me advice on upcoming projects. It's fun. 